streak. You leave. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. 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 Stay with me. Stay with me. Did you leave? So now that you have seen my visit with the light of Jesus, I would like to share with you what happened before this experience so that you can better understand what Jesus was communicating to me. And I also want to point out a few highlights from this experience. First, this visit was filmed in my backyard in front of my pecan and Japanese maple trees which is the same location where I filmed my very first visit with the Light of Jesus on the night of May 15th, 2014. Now, earlier in the day, I had done an oracle card reading with Jesus, which I shared on my website and on my YouTube community page. I will also share his message in the description box for this video. Jesus had asked me to use my female Archangels Oracle deck by Callista so that he could provide a universal message. And the card that Jesus drew was card number five, Expect the Best, featuring the Angel of Hope. I was immediately struck by the amount of pink on the card since the last two videos I have publicly shared entitled Love Will Find a Way and Love Lesson with the Light, all the beams of light appeared in the color pink, which was Spirit's way of expressing their love. Also, the angel on the card has a heart at her waist, and in the video Love Lesson with the Light, Jesus used his light body to form the shape of a pink heart. Here is that image from that experience. Finally, the angel is wearing a blue dress that has two shades of blue, and Jesus's signature color with me is blue. So here is a side-by-side -side comparison image of the oracle card that Jesus drew and an image of the light of Jesus taken from this current experience. Now, note how Jesus is displaying two different shades of blue. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison using another image of Jesus from the video. And this time I underexposed Jesus's light and rotated the image so that it would be vertical with the oracle card. And you can see that Jesus is displaying both the blue and pink featured on the card. So let's watch a slow motion clip of when Jesus morphed his light body into two different colors and shapes to align with the oracle card. And let's also look at a few still images from that moment.
Now for some humor. A small moth flew through Jesus's light. While this may not look like a moth in Jesus's light, trust me that it is. Flying insects do not photograph what they actually look like at nighttime, and people can often mistake insects for paranormal activity on their outdoor ring cameras. So let's take a look at the moth in slow motion. Now I want to show you something that is important, but is so subtle you would not see it unless I pointed it out to you. In this image, can you see the small golden orb? It's right here. And how about a small portion of the golden orb in this image? And how about the orb in this image? This orb of light is not separate from Jesus. This is a part of him. This is a better image from another experience for you to see how the light is above my right hand with a golden orb underneath my hand. Now, I was told that the symbolism of the orb is that which is above is the same as that which is below. Meaning, the macrocosm is the same as the microcosm. The universe is the same as God. God is the same as man. Man is the same as the cell. The cell is the same as the atom and so on and so on. We are truly one. There is no separation. This is just an illusion. So here are three slow motion clips of when the golden orb associated with Jesus is visible to us. And isn't it interesting that the orb appears three times? Finally, Jesus mainly appeared in his signature blue during this experience and blue and pink. But he also appeared in purple. In pink. In white. and white and blue. Now let's watch the entire visit in slow motion. And I want you to notice that when Jesus first draws near to me, he comes to my right side. To date, Jesus will only work with my right hand. So throughout this visit, he does focus mainly on my right side. I hope that this experience and what I have shared with you is helpful on your own journey. So thank you so much for watching.